Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, encompasses 14 islands and more than 50 bridges on an extensive Baltic Sea archipelago. The cobblestone streets and ochre colored buildings of Kamla Stan, the Old Town, are home to the 13th century Storkirkan Cathedral, the Kungliga Slotted Royal Palace, and the Nobel Museum, which focuses on the Nobel Prize. Ferries and sightseeing boats shuttle passengers between the islands. Stockholm has the most populous urban area in Sweden as well as in Scandinavia. One million people live in the municipality, approximately 1.6 million in the urban area, and 2.4 million in the metropolitan area. The city stretches across 14 islands where Lake Malaren flows into the Baltic Sea. Outside the city to the east and along the coast is the island chain of the Stockholm Archipelago. The area has been settled since the Stone Age, in the 6th millennium BC, and was founded as a city in 1252 by Swedish statesman Birger Jarl. It is also the county seat of Stockholm County. Stockholm is the cultural, media, political, and economic center of Sweden. The Stockholm region alone accounts for over a third of the country's GDP and is among the top 10 regions in Europe by GDP per capita. Ranked as an Alpa global city, it is the largest in Scandinavia and the main center for corporate headquarters in the Nordic region. The city is home to some of Europe's top-ranking universities such as the Stockholm School of Economics, Karolinska Institute, KTH Royal Institute of Technology, and Stockholm University. It hosts the annual Nobel Prize ceremonies and banquet at the Stockholm Concert Hall and Stockholm City Hall. One of the city's most prized museums, the Vasa Museum, is the most visited non-art museum in Scandinavia. The Stockholm Metro, opened in 1950, is well known for the decor of its stations. It has been called the longest art gallery in the world. Sweden's National Football Arena is located north of the city center in Solna. Avicii Arena, the national indoor arena, is in the southern part of the city. The city was the host of the 1912 Summer Olympics and hosted the equestrian portion of the 1956 Summer Olympics, otherwise held in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Stockholm is the seat of the Swedish government and most of its agencies, including the highest courts in the judiciary and the official residencies of the Swedish monarch and the prime minister. The government has its seat in the Rosenbad building, the Riksdag, Swedish parliament, is seated in the parliament house and the prime minister's residence is adjacent at Sager House. Stockholm Palace is the official residence and principal workplace of the Swedish monarch, while Drottning Holm Palace, a world heritage site on the outskirts of Stockholm, serves as the royal family's private residence. Stockholm is located on Sweden's east coast, where the freshwater Lake Mararen, Sweden's third largest lake, flows out into the Baltic Sea. The central parts of the city consist of 14 islands that are continuous with the Stockholm archipelago. The geographical city center is situated on the water in the Ridarf Jardin Bay. Over 30% of the city area is made up of waterways and another 30% is made up of parks and green spaces. Positioned at the eastern end of the central Swedish lowland, the city's location reflects the early orientation of Swedish trade toward the Baltic region. Stockholm belongs to the temperate, deciduous forest biome, which means the climate is very similar to that of far northeastern area of the United States and coastal Nova Scotia in Canada. 
The average annual temperature is 7.6 degrees Celsius. The average rainfall is 531 mm a year. The deciduous forest has four distinct seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. In the autumn, the leaves change color. During the winter months, the trees lose their leaves. Stockholm has a humid continental climate in the 0 degrees Celsius isotherm and an oceanic climate in the minus 3 degrees Celsius isotherm. Although winters are cold, average temperatures generally remain above 0 degrees Celsius for much of the year. Summers are pleasantly warm and precipitation occurs throughout the year. Due to the city's high northerly latitude, the length of the day varies widely from more than 18 hours around midsummer to only around 6 hours in late December. The nights from late May until mid July are bright even when cloudy. Stockholm has relatively mild weather compared to other locations at similar latitude or even farther south. With an average of just over 18 hours of sunshine per year, it is also one of the sunniest cities in Northern Europe, receiving more sunshine than Paris, London, and few other major European cities of a more southerly latitude. Because of the urban heat island effect and a prevailing wind traveling over land rather than sea during summer months, Stockholm has the warmest July months of the Nordic capitals. Stockholm has an annual average snow cover between 75 and 100 days. In spite of its mild climate, Stockholm is located further north than parts of Canada that are above the Arctic tree line at sea level. Summer's average daytime high temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and lows of around 13 degrees Celsius, but temperatures can reach 30 degrees Celsius on some days. Days above 30 degrees Celsius occur on average 1.55 days per year. That was between 1992 to 2011. Days between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius are relatively common, especially in July and August. Nighttime lows of above 20 degrees Celsius are rare, and hot summer nights vary from 17 to 18 degrees Celsius. Winters generally bring cloudy weather with the most precipitation falling in December and January, as rain or as snow. The average winter temperatures range from minus 3 to minus 1 degrees Celsius and occasionally drop below minus 20 degrees Celsius in the outskirts. Spring and autumn are generally cool to mild. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the history and facts of Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe so that you'll get notified in the next video upload. Bye for now and enjoy the rest of the video.